everybody, this is your girl Bella J, and this is my friend, the principal, which yes. I promised that he would be back on my videos, right? Yes, yes, so our the the thing with me today is, um, and I've been waiting to do this article. I had to look through my videos to make sure that I did not talk about this. So we're gonna bring it to light, okay? All right. So this was this is by Charles J. Orlando, and this was published uh, the weekend of August seventh through tenth, the summertime. What women really want. Now, um, he's new to my move. He's watched my videos, but he's never been a part of my move. We did a quickie recently. So now, um, Moo is my own opinion, which I explained. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Charles J. Orlando. He says, what women really want part one, which I was waiting for part two, and I have to see if I actually still have the article. What a woman wants in the bedroom can be confusing for many men. Does she want candles lit? For romance or candle wax dripped on her nipples? Does she want to be made love to satisfy the feeling or f from behind with mad passion? I asked 1,000 women what they really wanted from a man, from men in the bedroom. They got real and they got honest. Four play and it begins outside the bedroom. That is essential. I want us to go outside and you know what? If we're out and about, kiss me touch me grab me by the hand and just you know touch the inside with your finger um let me know that you want me i want to feel that i want to feel that sensation and and i want him to feel the same way that's true okay um undress her slowly and that doesn't mean with her um with your hand literally undressing it could be anything from well, hold up i feel like i'm out of focus it could be um, you looking at her up and down mm -hmm. and you recognizing the, the length of her legs, the fullness in her breast, everything. A woman wants you to, to really look at them and then when you're hungry and you're passionate for them, it just comes out even more. Yes. Um, sex in public. She might not want to actually have sex in public, but the thrill of being observed is a huge turn on for many. To the guy who thinks his girl wouldn't be like that? Yes, she would. Observe me from the corner room. I want to feel you looking at me. I mean, I like to look at a guy that way. I like to look at him in a sexual way. I like to undress him sexually. I like to visually sex him in public. I want him to feel what I'm feeling. And not every guy understands that and not every woman understands that. Um, let her take control. It would. I really like being in control, not every time, but sometimes, and I don't want to hurt him. I just want to do things to him. I wouldn't mind just massaging him hard, you know, or just, I don't know, just manhandling him. I get a kick out of that one. Making you putty in my hands and watching your erection rise, literally. And role play. I love when he dresses up in his old navy uniform. I didn't know him then. So it makes things different. And men in uniform really turn me on. Um, also, bottom line is, assuming a new role cannot, be, cannot only be fun, it can eliminate established relationships, dynamics that might stifle. Okay, it does eliminate issues and it also brings on a new keen awareness. Mm -hmm. When your relationship is going bored, um, which we notice that a lot of people are having these days. I don't know if you know a lot of your boys or a lot of guys are becoming single mm -hmm. um, And a lot of women I know are single is because No one is actually speaking up. Yeah, true Honestly, I know it's like to be I know it's like to be bored honestly and um, It's hard. It really is hard because It's not that you don't love the person no more, but you just feel like it's so much more that you can give them, but you like, you kind of just like out of the loop, like you just don't feel like you can set your side them no more. And like, you know, you can set your side somebody else, but with them, it's like, oh, you know, like, it's, it's getting boring to me now. You know? Do you think sometimes the girls get too complacent, they get too stuck in the same rut and not willing to try anything new? Yeah, man. It goes both ways, yeah, but true. I mean, there are some women who really, a guy wants to grab them by the neck, you know, on the back or yeah. pull their hair, and the girl's like, no, 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 and they get turned off. Or, like me, my biggest gripe, like I said, and this is why I, me foreplay is cool and everything. I'm the big kissing guy, titty grabbing, and you know, I'm the whole deal. But when it comes 
to I get head, whatever, it's cool. But I don't eat pussy. And like I said, that's something I have to understand. I accept that I have to do it eventually as time will go on and relationships a little because it only, you know, brings you know, keeps this relationship kinda I would have to say that eating pussy when I really thought about what you said that you don't eat pussy, I think what men fail to realize is that the vagina opening as it's not sensitive to the tongue as the clitoris is. Okay? So women do want men to go down on them. Mm -hmm. But understand, licking, sucking on the lips, the labia, the, the, the lips that open up, is not going to do much of anything. But if you're kissing her and you run your fingers down there on her clit, you're going to feel that she's wet automatically. When you separate those lips and venture around to the hole, we prefer your fingers going in and your mouth staying at the clitoris mm -hmm. which is above ground which is above mm -hmm. if you have a problem with the whole area a uh, thing that you could if you know you could do is put a washcloth at the hole that the at the opening of the vagina and just stay at the clitoris so that you know where she's at being around that area touching her feeling her all these little things women want to feel the passion women want to feel yes. you want them yeah. not only for me, the biggest turn on is to know that I haven't even kissed you and no. you're erect. Yes. To know that I can touch you, I can whisper something in your ear mm. and you're erect because of me. Mm. Because you're, and then you're just as equally enticed, you're aroused, and you're looking forward to even going that extra day. So imagine you're talking to me and you're touching my hand at the dinner table and I tell you that I'm wet. How would you react? If your girl told you that? I'll be honest, I really wouldn't know honestly. You wouldn't know? Nah, because we had, like let's say we were around group friends or whatever. What about I whispered and I said, honey, I'm wet? Oh shit, uh man, let's walk in the bathroom, whatever, what's up? Let's do it, let's get it in. It's things like this that ladies and gentlemen, you should not be scared to tell your man what you really want. Mm -hmm. And this also goes with men. You should not be afraid to I'm gonna tell you right now, for me personally, don't motion my head. Do not motion my head to your dick. It's I will beat the living crap out of you. I, I don't like that. Let me do it because I want to. Let me do it because I want to. I enjoy giving head. My man head. Don't ask me for it. Asking ye shall receive. I told you I was traumatized. It was a whole big thing when I was younger. I really just don't want to get into it. That's very personal. But understand. What happened? Oh. I saw that. I was like, he got plucked, okay? He got plucked on the moo time. But he is right. He is fessing up and he is doing what guys don't do, what guys refuse to do, and that's own up. And he understands that at some given point, he's going to have to go down uh, and he's going to have to eat yes. the cookies. And I'm going to tell you right now, I will fully understand. It's about hygiene also because if the girl's not no, no, no. if the girl is not down there okay, it ain't Duff. happening at all. The Duff. finger test. Duff. Listen, I haven't had no bad torture yet. So so far, it's, it's cool. I, I just I'm just I don't know. It's never really been a big thing. Like I said, I feel like it's, it's hard because I've it's like touching me is cool. Don't get, I don't need to pussy and I'm like, let me do bully. Nope. I'm not doing that. It just it's hard for me. Well he's he's still young. Understand? He's twenty seven. And I'm 42, so this is two. This is this is a this is a gap. different age. There's a big gap, and there's a big age group. There a big gap in the age group, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that we can't learn from each other. Yeah. And this is my friend, and I. He is very mature for his age. Is him not eating pussy a deal breaker? Not really, because he ain't gonna get head from me, point blank. Mm -hmm. It, it's okay. We could do other stuff. There's yeah. other it takes, yeah, like breasts. There's there's so yeah. many other things. Just, if you don't want to perform yeah. oral, you don't, do don't want to yeah. perform anal. It's so many other things. You're not gonna lose yeah. hindsight for anything. So don't think that eating pussy or a sucking dick is the deal not, breaker. Yeah. If your mind stays stuck in that, then you're not willing to move forward and grow because there's so many other things to do in a relationship. Like you can go to the Museum of Sex right now. I think it's up until next year. There's a big trampoline of breasts. There's a dick climbing wall. There's so many things that you can do there with couples interaction that you can have fun in. So I just wanted to just bring to light this and 
and I always wanted a guy's perspective on this. Like this is a calm moment. We're not not even being ratchet and rancid with the mouth. I'm actually being calm. Yeah. And if anybody knows my videos, y'all know how it can be. But this is a racy session. And now we're about to come to you in another day, which is the part two to this. We're going to take it a step further. And that is adults only rated R because it's going to be foul language. It's going to be really what people might call ratchet. With that being said, please thumbs up this video, comment below, subscribe if you haven't, share this video to your friends, pass it along, and if you have something, if there's something that you really want in the bedroom, women and men, and I did not mention it, post the comments below, or email me and then I'll bring up the topic later on again with, um, I mean, I would love to do a Q&A, so any comments or questions you have, please drop it in your inbox and I will definitely bring it to light. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Bye. The table doesn't mean anything. What happened to the lenses? These are my new glasses. Ooh. Moo glasses. When I'm having a moo, a moo means my own opinion. Okay. So this is a moo session.